Hi everybody, I just want to put a quick video together on Winchester Model 70 bolt disassembly and cleaning. So first things first, as you can see the firing pin is dropped. All you have to do is lift up and now you can see that it's cocked. Put it in the half cocked position, remove the bolt. So, from this point, to take the firing pin out, clean the grease, and oil it up, you take the little plunger and you're just going to push the little plunger down in turn. I think they usually say it's about six turns to, to undo it. There you go. Simple as that. Now, if you are to move this out of this position, the safety, you will have one hell of a time getting it back together, which I will show you how to do. I'm going to move over to the extractor and plunger here. I could not find a video anywhere on how to clean the extractor. I got some debris inside of mine to where it would not eject the bullets. Actually, excuse me, it would, e would eject them, but it wouldn't grab them and pull them out. So, I'm going to do a quick video. I just got a small Allen wrench here. You're going to push down and I push forward so it doesn't spring. Do it again here. Just try not to get it to shoot all over. And that's it injectors out. Remember the beveled side goes up. All that's in here, if I can get her on out of there. Is that just a plunger sits underneath. It's got a little peak on it so the extractor can slide back and forth. Put it back in. Try to do this behind the camera. A lot more difficult than usual. Basically, just pushing that internal plunger down to slide this tractor back in. Now, your plunger, and this is what pushes the bullet out, you have to push this roll pin out. Once that comes out, plunger and spring are underneath, clean it very well. Otherwise you'll be running into issues of no extraction. Grab a bullet here and I'll try and explain. So, well, it basically sits underneath here and then when you pull it out that spring wants to push it out now put it back together it's pretty simple you come around all you have to do is push this down twist lock it back in place for that detent. That's it. But, what I'm going to show you here, if you were to so happen to turn the safety off, when you go to lock it down, as you can see on the end, it's fired now in the fired position. That's as far as it wants to go. Just give it a little hard twist come around once and come around a second time and then the third time you gotta push and there you are back in place as you can see 
basically all we did by forcing that around is it compressed that spring, that internal spring. Thank you for watching.